A Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party has officially nominated Vice President William Lai as its candidate for the 2024 presidential elections. But his stance on independence, possibly even more hardline than current President Tsai Ing-wen's, may get in the way of his presidential bid next year. Victoria Jen tells us more. 63-year-old William Lai has long been considered a frontrunner for the ruling party's nomination to succeed President Tsai Ing-wen, and in fact, his nomination was a foregone conclusion. The veteran politician was running uncontested in the presidential primary as he received unified support from the DPP. Ms. Tsai is barred from running again after her second four-year term ends in May 2024. In a press conference, Mr. Lai said that he would follow President Tsai's cross-street policies, which are open load by Beijing. He also vowed to protect Taiwan's democracy and sovereignty against a growing military threat from China. Taiwan 自然而然也不是所謂中國神聖不可分割的一部分國家的主權不容侵犯中華民國台灣的前途只有兩千三百萬人可以決定 the announcement came just two days after China formally ended massive war games around Taiwan. It included simulated targeted strikes and blockades of the island. Currently, Mr. Lai is leading in several polls ahead of all the other potential presidential candidates from other parties. But there are still challenges ahead for the vice president. His hardline pro-independence stance may undermine his chances of winning the presidency. He has has mentioned that more than once that he is a strong advocate of Taiwan's independence. And that position goes against Beijing's One China principle. So there is concern that if Mr. Lai is elected president, it could further escalate tensions across the strait. But whether he will soften his anti-China position to gain greater support remains to be seen. What's certain is that his every move will be watched closely from now until the presidential election. Victoria Jen, CNA, Taipei.